welcome back to my channel. In last week's video, I cleaned out my entire closet because I had ordered an abundance of new clothes that I don't have any room for. So to justify my purchases, I've decided to turn it into a video. Over the last couple of months, I have bought a lot of things for the upcoming spring and summer season, so I decided what better time to share it with you guys than now. I'm in a different filming location. They're doing construction across the street from my house, and that just so happens to be directly outside my bedroom window, so it was entirely too noisy in my room in my usual setup. So, uh, sorry. As usual, I will leave the links to all of these things down below in the description box. If I can't find the link or it's not down there, it's probably because it is sold out or no longer on the site. But without further ado, let's get on to the video. As with all of my previous hauls, I will be trying everything on for you guys, but of course there are some things that I will not be showing on my body because my coworkers and my family watch my videos sometimes. So I'm going to start off with those things first. The first two items were purchased at Forever 21 and I have both of them in a size medium and they are just some white sports bras. I wanted some things to wear under sheer white shirts just because I can't stand it when you can see my bra through it. So I just got these really low impact, kind of more athleisure cute than actually supportive bras and they look really great under just sheer shirts, things that you would normally see my boobs through. So the first one that I have here has these tiny little spaghetti straps that crisscross in the back and it also has a little bit of like a mesh on the back here. And the other one is a little bit thicker. It has a bit of a deeper V to it and it's all very seamless. And the back is a typical racer back sports bra. Next on the can't try on on the internet is some swimsuits. I went a little bit crazy as I normally do around this time, but I was gonna try to find some way to justify me buying them, but there really isn't any reason. They're just cute and I have no self-control. I picked up a lot of these swimsuits from really affordable places. I have some from Forever 21, some from H&M, and some from Aerie. The first ones I'm going to show you are from Forever 21. For reference, I have a size 32 double D chest. So if I can fit in these without my boobs popping out, that's the only way I'm keeping them. So for you bigger chested girls out there, letting you guys know that these will most likely fit you. The first one that I have, I picked up in a large from Forever 21. It's this baby blue ribbed tank top kind of feel, but it has these cutouts around your boobs. I'm definitely secure in this top. The back is just a little scoop neck tiny back over there. But overall, this held me in pretty good and I was really surprised with how well Forever 21's large size fits me. Normally, a large would be entirely too big around the back, but we're okay with this. This came obviously with a matching bottom, which I'm not crazy about because it is that like really Brazilian high leg and I feel like my torso is just a little bit too short for that. But I might actually hem this, take this in, make it like a normal length bikini bottom. Anyway, really cute. Also from Forever 21, I have another bralette type bathing suit. And this one is actually not from Forever 21. It is by Risk Swim. And it's this really, really soft bathing suit material. It has this really fun, crazy print. And again, little scoop neck in the front, tiny little band in the back. I have this one again in a size large. This one I'm not as secure as in the blue one. It's not as structured as the blue one, so I do feel a little bit more exposed in this, but still I'm in it, I'm covered. Really, really cute if you're not really planning on doing much activity at the beach or by the pool. Again, I have the matching bottoms for this. In all of the bottoms I have a medium, and these are high knee. These are like the really, really Brazilian, like if you have a huge butt like me, up your butt crack, you're wearing a thong kind of bathing suit bottoms. But still really, really cute. Next up from H&M, I have some really basic tops. From H&M, I picked this one up in a size eight, which is kind of like their medium. I love this top because it is double lined, so it's pretty thick. I thought that the straps on this were really cute. They have two little strands instead of one. Both are fully adjustable, which is a little bit bulky, but it's still pretty cute. I just picked up the top in this, didn't get the bottom because they didn't have a cute matching one that I really like. Also from H&M, because you can never go wrong with a nice basic, is the simple black triangle top with the double band on the top. So it like ruches, 
up here. I picked this one up in a size eight as well. Really, really simple, cute. These next couple of swimsuits are by far some of my favorite swimsuits I have ever bought. Two of them are from Aries and one of them is from Victoria's Secret who has decided to start selling swimwear again. Thank you very much. They're all kind of the same style. The first one that I have is a little gingham picnic style bralette top. This is what they categorize as a balconette. So if you have larger breasts, this like holds you so well. It feels like you're wearing a bra as opposed to like your boobs just flapping around on the beach. I really love this because the material is actually kind of textured. It feels almost puckered and the straps tie at the top. I thought that was so freaking cute. I have this one in a size large. I did have to go up from the medium because the cup does run a little bit small on this, but the large fits me perfectly. The bottoms I go with this are adorable. You can mix and match. They have a couple of different styles to match that top. I got these, which are the blue stripes with little ruffles on the side here. I picked these up in a medium. Typically, I feel like I would be a small, but for some reason, the top of these is not very stretchy. I think because just of how the ruffle is sewn in. So I went up a size in these and got the medium. So cute, very, very excited to wear this whole suit together. Also from Airy and also in a large is a plain black balconette top. It's literally the same exact cup shape as the one that I just showed you. Has some really cute detail stitching like a balconette bra usually does. Plain black adjustable straps, basic. I can wear this and I probably will wear this with absolutely everything and oh my God, I can't even explain to you. This holds me so well and feels so freaking comfortable for someone who has a bigger chest. Definitely recommend if you are on the larger side. Last up for bathing suits, and again in like pretty much the same style as the last two. This one is actually from Victoria's Secret and I am so happy about this. I got this in a size medium, which came out to be a 32 double D. Again with the tie straps on top, but it is this really cool kind of periwinkle snakeskin print. Balconette top, again, so unbelievably comfortable and because it's from Victoria's Secret, the soft cut bra fits exactly like this bathing suit. This is the most comfortable bathing suit I have ever put on my body, and I will probably wear this suit into the ground. That suit does come with a matching bottom, but it's just like a normal Victoria's Secret string bottom, same print, really cute, love it. Moving on to the try on portion. I said this in my last video. I have started to procure a weird amount of skirts for myself. I'm not a big skirt person, but the skirts are coming back, the long flowy things are in, so I picked up a couple of skirts. The first I have is from Forever 21, and I do believe I got this on sale. I actually don't think that this exact one is on the site anymore, but there is a very similar one that I will link down below. It is, of course, leopard print. It's like fake satin, you know, typical polyester, but it goes to just about above the ankle. I got this in a size medium. It zips up the side with one of those hook and eye closures and has absolutely no stretch. So if you're in between, I would recommend going up. It is a little bit see-through, so I wear biker shorts under it, but overall so cute. So far I've worn this with both a very chunky sweater that you can see over on my Instagram, but also I've worn this with a t-shirt like you'll see in the try-on haul. I've worn it with a graphic t-shirt tied up with some combat boots. This so far has been really versatile and very, very me. Next up is a skirt that I got from H&M. I picked this one up in a size six and this is so typically not me, but I just saw it and I was like, I need to have it. First of all, it's red. When do I ever wear a color ever? But it has this really cute slit up the side that goes into a couple of buttons right up the side here. And I just thought it was really flattering, really flowy and cute for the spring and summer. Again, I've worn this with my Doc Martens. I've worn it with a graphic tee. I've worn it dressed up with a little flouncy t-shirt. Really, really cute. They do still have this on the website and they also have this print in like a couple of other things like dresses and shorter skirts, things like that. So if you like the print even, go check that out definitely. Moving on from the skirts, I've also kind of picked up a lot of dresses and rompers recently, mostly because I have special occasions to go to, but also because 
Um, I'm just like kind of a romper girl. But the first thing that I have here is a dress that I picked up from H&M. I got this in a size six, and I picked this up for my sister's graduation. She's finally coming home from fucking Texas, and she's finally graduating from grad school, like, 90 years later. But as you'll see in the try-on, it has these really flowy sleeves, a really pretty mauve dusty pink, and the skirt is also really, really cute and flowy with a little ruffle on the bottom. Because it has the kind of wrap waist to it, you can cinch it really tight and get a nice little, like a little, a little zhuzh, a little, a little floof up at the top, and I think it's really, really flattering, especially on somebody with my body type who has a bigger chest and a bigger butt. Really, really cute, H&M, size six. Moving right along down the romper jumper line, I picked this up as well. This is a linen long jumpsuit. It flares out a little bit at the bottom, kind of more so just like a really wide leg to just about above the ankle. The top of it has this like really cool folded detail up here. I don't even know what you would call this. Really, really cute sweetheart neckline. It is a little bit see-through, but it has pockets so can forgive it. This is actually not Forever 21 brand. This is mm, Selfie Leslie, and I picked this up in a size medium. This last jumpsuit is really fucking weird, but I saw it and I was like, I need to have this. It's probably gonna go right into the category of the brown corduroy poop smell jumpsuit from a couple videos back with my mom, but I just thought it was so cool and I don't know when I'm gonna wear it or how I'm gonna wear it, but I absolutely love it. It is a mechanic suit. It is your typical like mechanic thick material jumpsuit. Goes all the way to the floor with little cuffs at the bottom, zips halfway up, even has a little tag here that says thanks and the back of it says Phoenix. What the fuck is Phoenix? I don't know. But I just thought it was so cute. It's in this deep navy color, which I think looks really, really nice on me, especially when I'm tan. So I feel like this would be really cool with maybe a pair of chunky sneakers or even my Doc Martens still in the spring season. I don't know how much it's gonna do me in the summer. I'll probably sweat like fucking crazy, but it was entirely too cute to pass up. I got this at Forever 21 in a size medium. Moving on to shirts, I actually didn't pick up that many shirts this time around. Of course, I did pick up something in more than one color because I have a problem. I don't think I would ever wear this not completely tucked into something high-waisted, but it's this mock neck tie back chiffon shirt. I thought that this was so cute on the model and when I got it home and put it on, it was a little bit shorter than I thought it was gonna be as Forever 21 things tend to be. But tucked in to something really high-waisted, like I said, is so freaking cute. So cute that I had to pick it up in black as well. I got both of these, like I said, from Forever 21 and they are both in a size medium. I know these were selling out so I don't know if I'll be able to find them for you guys but if I do, definitely recommend. The next shirt is like really, really casual, really cute, and it is a linen striped tie front shirt. Again, something that's so not me, but I just saw this for some reason and I was like, I can make that work. Got this one from Forever 21 as well in a medium. Really, really comfortable, really lightweight for the summer. Really cute with a pair of white jeans, pair of cut off shorts. Very versatile, very easy going for summer. Another shirt that I picked up from Forever 21, also in a size medium, is what I am wearing right now. You will see in the try on haul, it is just a very simple ACDC band tee cut off with the rolled edge. Really, really cute with high-waisted jeans. You guys know I love wearing things like this all the time. So again, from Forever 21, size medium. That's all I picked up for shirts. Next, I have some shorts for you guys. Only two pairs, but two very, very cute pairs. The first is from Forever 21, and it is another skort pair of shorts. It ties in the front here with this faux skirt, and then of course, underneath it, you got a basic pair of shorts. It does have an elastic waist, which I thought was kind of weird. I feel like usually these things have a zipper of some sort somewhere, but actually really like the elastic. I picked these up in a navy and white in a size medium from Forever 21, like I said. I think they did have this in a couple of different colors, I'm not sure, but again, that will be linked down below. This last pair of shorts I actually picked up from TJ Maxx. They are by Josie Notori, 
and I am in love. They're a really, really dark wash, almost denim feeling material, but like kind of a stretch denim. High-waisted pair of shorts with a frill bottom all the way around. I thought they were so fucking cute. Not gonna lie, probably paid more than I would have liked to for these, but I saw them and I was like, I can swing that. So I did. I picked these up in a size four. I will leave that linked down below if I can find them. TJ Maxx has a little bit of a crazy fucking website, so might not be able to find them, but if I do, go get them. All right, guys, well, that is all I have for this season's haul. Let me know if you guys want me to do hauls more frequently. I do pick up a lot of things, unfortunately, over the months. So <laughs> there would be a lot to show you. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know down in the comments if you guys would like to see me style some of these things. I'm gonna have some pictures of them up probably on my Instagram, so make sure to go follow me there. And make sure you hit that big red subscribe button right down below to stay up to date with what I'm posting on this channel. Summer's a little bit of a weird time for me, so bear with me if my videos aren't like in, on an exact schedule, but I promise I'm going to try to get them out for you guys as frequently as possible. But that is all I have for you guys today, so until next time, bye guys! <laughs>